Hey guys, it's me, and this is what I look like. But yeah, this is, this is me, and I want to talk a little bit about why I'm doing the face reveal now and what this can mean for the channel in the future. A lot of people probably weren't expecting me to look something like this considering my sig fig, however I made my sig fig a while ago when I had scruffy hair and no glasses. My channel has been going for about a year and a half now and there has been so many things throughout that year and a half which I wanted to start doing and were unfortunately hindered by not having my face in any of these shots and as much as I really don't care that my face is out there it just didn't feel like the right time to do it on the channel. But now with being in a brand new place with a studio office that I can use, the time only feels right to show off, well, me. <laughs> and with things like the Statue of Liberty project coming up, being able to show myself on camera and not everybody be freaked out by it will be a massive plus for the channel in general, as well as just being able to film a bit more casually. Everything on this channel is dedicated to being professional and informative and when I make a video I want you to feel like you're coming to watch almost like a show. So I don't like making content that's not going to be worthwhile watching, which is why I now want to move on to doing more face reveal -y stuff. So these ideas that I have do feel a bit more substantial. You know, if I wanted to start doing things like live streaming or vlogging, it was incredibly difficult with not showing my face. And props to the people that do do that, but I personally don't think it's a very good way of keeping an audience member engaged by just seeing hands build Lego. Even down to things like this Thor's hammer. I've got this Thor's hammer review coming up very soon in the next few days being able to now pick it up and swing it about makes the video a lot more engaging for you guys. And I'm extremely happy that now I've done this, I can begin to do more stuff like that in the future. Now, don't worry, the sig fig isn't going anywhere. It's still going to be the branding for the channel. But I do wanna say that don't expect this to be the last time you see me. I want to almost change the direction of the channel and make it a bit more live action-y filmed rather than the sig fig on the white background. Some people might ask like, why now? Why is now a significant time to do the face reveal? And I don't think there really is a reason why I wanted to do the face reveal. Going back to some of the points I said before about feeling limited, and I think that's the entire point of this. I don't want to feel limited on what I can do on my channel anymore. But being stuck behind the camera really does make me feel limited in what I can do instead of pursuing these ideas, which I do want to do. There are so many projects that I've turned down because I just don't want to show my face at the time. And I think it also does go to show that you don't need to show your face to build up a following. I know some other people don't particularly like to show their face, but this is my choice. I'm now taking what I feel is the next step. And doing something like this will not only branch out some of the content that I wanted to do like I was saying before, but will also probably give the videos a bit more of a personal touch. Now that you'll be watching someone like me on the screen waving my arms about, rather than me talk like this against a white background. Now I know this is a relatively big change, but trust me the content isn't going to change at all across the channel. We'll still be doing all of the large projects, along with the modifications, this just allows me to get out that extra content that I wanted to get out to you guys. When we did the 20k video, I wanted to tell this story on how I became infatuated by learning how to make things, on how to progress, how to make things look more professional, and took you through the history of Tommy C. Bricks and what I did before Tommy C. Bricks. And as much as I love that video, I mean, it's probably my favourite video on the entire channel. There was so much footage I wanted to put in that video, and instead I made it this really nice animated thing, which again, I do love. It just feels like it could have had that personal touch that it just didn't have. And I think that also applies for some other videos on this channel which you could argue are not that fun to watch. But I tried to mitigate that with things like the flashy graphics on screen, which did keep people entertained and, again, obviously just looking at numbers, clearly kept people around. But I'm really happy that when we pass 40k, it will be something that I don't have to worry about anymore, and I'm hoping you guys like the change. There's a little bit of me that was worried about doing the face reveal. Now at almost 40,000 subs, that's a lot of eyes seeing your face at once. 
but the greater that number gets, I think the more worried I would be about doing something like this. But I'm glad I've done it now, because there's no longer a pressure to try and hide my face in any of these videos via reflections or anything along those sort of lines. Fun fact, I did actually record my face reveal at 10,000 subs. That was the original plan. But at the time, I just felt like I was doing it for the sake of doing it, whereas now I feel like I'm doing it for a reason. I don't feel like I'm doing it for the sake of just showing my face. I feel like I'm doing it to expand my content. I always had this mentality in the back of my head after I didn't release that 10,000 video of why do the face reveal if you're not going to do anything with it. So I am happy that now I feel confident enough to do the face reveal, it means that I'm ready to expand my content and make more things I think that you guys would love to watch on this channel. However, in terms of what I want to do, even things down to like Instagram or members videos, they can be so much more engaging now that I've shown my face. I can now share these pictures of me doing what I love doing on my Instagram now that I've shown my face, or interacting with what I want to start doing with the members stuff and releasing a two to three minute behind the scenes video each week for the members. So you members have something a bit more substantial to look forward to each week, instead of me just doing big massive one-off behind the scenes episodes. This will be much more rewarding for you guys as well as for me because I get to make content that's somewhat easier and you guys get to basically have more content. Not only that, it means we can go on a bit more of an adventure. There are so many videos I have planned in the next coming year that require me to show my face projects, challenges, and different things like that, which I have a feeling you guys are going to love and enjoy watching on this channel and with everything moving to a more live action-y set it means I can interact more in the reviews there's not just going to be the cinematic shots there can be me actually interacting with the set and you guys can see me interacting with it which I feel will be a lot more dynamic and a lot more entertaining for you. Case in point by this Thor's Hammer video coming out later on in the week and Statue of Liberty episode part one which I will be showing my face for. I hope you guys are excited for the next coming year now that this channel has taken taken this step and has moved into a brand new light and basically can do everything we wanted to do. And hey, real quick, I just want to give a massive shout out to all of the members. We've had loads of new ones recently. You can see them all scrolling by on the screen. And I found out the other day, looking through my analytics, that some of you guys have been around for just over a year, and that's insane to me. All of these guys are not only financially supporting the channel, but also now should be getting more content each week to give more of a reason for being a member. I want to try and get those out Sunday, guys, so expect one this Sunday. And hey, the Statue of Liberty project's this weekend, but if you haven't seen the announcement for it where I go through a bunch of details, I'd click that and catch up with that one quickly, just so you're all caught up for when part one drops. Turn that red subscribe button grey, because we've got a lot to do this year.